Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time. This is the original Emma's Art School and I wanted to refresh your memory so you can remember how it looked like before. Beautiful the way it is. I love the look of it but of course I had to rebuild it. So my version of Emma's Art School is a corner build. I really wanted it to be a corner build and the door was the challenge. So this is the six stud wide door. I could not figure out how to put it in so I used this frame instead which is already angled and made it much easier and it also allowed me to do more decorations on the side so add more details so it ended up working out pretty good turn it around now and I loved the how the designers design these dots tiles like to add more artwork and I really wanted to keep that so I had to figure out how to keep everything the way they had done it and that's when I put that fence there in the middle just to space it all out and make it look good and then I added colorful tiles into the pavement also and I did the same on this side continued all that on here I didn't add the stickers I might add the stickers later I'm not sure about that yet I continued the colorful tiles along this side just added extra ones just to add more color to this set and on the side I added that coral bin the leaves I liked on the ground and I added the extra bike rack because in this set well my rebuild I used two of the Emma's art school plus other parts I wanted to add a little park bench there so they can sit under that tree so I really liked that tree and then I made these extra trees so simple to make all it is is a support brick so we got that and then I used the round bricks and then I just popped that uh, stick part in the middle to hold it all together so this part doesn't fall apart added extra leaves and flowers and voila we've got a very simple but very beautiful tree and these trees also look good all in a row and now here is a little drink fountain I made it out of the black parts because that's what I had most of you can make it any color you like and let's build it very simple drink fountain and this looks great on any street or park playground we'll pop it over here and we're going to have someone test it out she's taking a drink because it's a very warm day over here I'll just move myself I made a slightly different tree so different colors I added lots of flowers just to give you know a little bit more variety of trees in the street but look how good they look when you've got a group of them so easy but so beautiful and I thought I'll just put the extra easels with the paintings outside they can paint outside or inside so that's the front on the outside let's spin it around to see all the details inside There's so much happening here on the bottom floor and with any building I always need a bathroom and I use the toilet and the basin from my little how to make a Lego bathroom video. I popped in the four lockers there and I made a little water cooler and look a little chocolate vending machine. So I've got bars of chocolate inside so I'll pop that over here next to the water cooler and I made a drinks one as well and if you notice these are the same builds from the roller disco set they're nice and compact and so easy to build I loved the little coffee machine so I kept all that set up but I just added more food over here I had a spare art school sign so I just used that as a table it was the perfect size added some four stools there 
and lots of yummy food on the table. On this side I wanted to do like the painting section. I added lots of paint colours there and this colourful staircase. So this is what it looks like from the top so you can see and I even like did a mosaic on the floor with the dots tiles. So I like open backed buildings as I love seeing inside but if you want to enclose it it's quite easy to do that and then you can also pop the staircase on that back wall if you want to but with me I like open back and you save on bricks too the most important part saving bricks. This is the bottom floor finish. Now we need floor number two and here we go. I really wanted to add a corner window setup and this was the challenging part. I um, wasn't sure whether I wanted to keep those curved windows like it was in the original and have the corner window so I, I got rid of those curved windows there and I added artwork instead. And over here I had to add an extra brick height just to make it all fit and make it look good. I turn it around and I kept that here, the beautiful peacock picture and my daughter made me like a cloud and colourful rain. Like more artwork there on the side. So I'll turn that around now so you can see what it looks like. And on this side I kept it the same. Apart from these bits, they're the different colours. So we've got the four colours on the one level, if you know what I'm talking about, those window boxes. Okay, we're going to take a look inside at level two. And it's the same, it's still the arts and crafts room. More artwork here on the wall. And this little sign was from one of Emma's art studio or room studio sets from many, many years ago. I had a spare one. I thought this would work perfect in the sewing room. I had two sewing machines, so I popped them in. And this one I popped in this way to secure the floor a lot better. In this bay window, I used Emma's dress from the hotel room. I thought that would look good there. And I added all these arches with the yellow transparent bricks to make it look like lights in the room. And here I just made a larger shelf to fit more of the clay projects that the students make. So I've kept it pretty much the same as the original, just doubled the size. Time to put level three up here. Oh, I love how this has turned out. It's so colorful. That's what I love, I love color. Okay, level three, here we go. And the curved window again at the front and I use those round plates in different colors, of course, to add more color. My daughter made me some more artwork to put on the wall there. We've got some beautiful colored tulips. So the roof line, this was the tricky part. I wanted to use up as much as I could from that set. So this is what I came up with. I didn't want to buy any more bricks. I've got too many. I just wanted to use up what I had. So I used, used these parts and I wanted to put the clock on, like on an angle. I thought that would look best and this took me ages to figure out how to do because I'm not very good at this. Um, so this is the design that I came up with that looked the best to be on the corner and I used that spinny part there to keep it in place and hang on I've got to put it in the right way. There we go. And it's locked and it's nice and secure. So same roof line on this side kept that like that and I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see the four different colored window boxes I kept. I wanted to do that like in the original and it just makes it more colorful and more interesting. Now this side, this was a little bit more difficult uh, to do because I couldn't make it the same as the other side. And then I added a little cloud rainbow mural there. <laughs> I thought that turned out good. I like that mural. 
I have more artwork here done by my daughter. She loves these dots tiles, very creative. And level three is the media section, just like in the original. And I did two 3D printers, except in this one I made a little house instead. I didn't want to print two little mini fig figures, so little house there. I put the sticker in on the inside too to add more colour and more variety I guess on the walls. Changed the plant there, just made it look more interesting. And this is just the photography section. So same as the original but I added two, part, uh, two photography things there. Alrighty, turn it around. The new and improved Emma's Art School. Doing some painting outside in the fresh air. Emma's making some new garments while my cat plays on the sewing machine too. And taking photos in the new photography studio. My version of Emma's Art School. I sat there building and rebuilding <laughs> so many times to get this right. And I was like, nah, this really needs to be a corner build. And I am super happy with how it turned out. It's so colourful and it fits perfectly into my city streetscape. Whenever I rebuild a set, I always try to make it look like the original, but with my little twist on it. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.